Okay, hi everyone. I want to show you uh, a tool for Linux called Rofi, and it's actually kind of related to um, dmenu. So if you don't know dmenu, um, then maybe it's worth checking that one out first. So um, it's dmenu is if you ever played around with the i3 desktop manager then it's this tool that comes up at the top. When you hit um, your modify key and D, that's why it's called D menu. And um, Rolfi kind of is an extension on top of this, but it offers a lot more. So if you check out their, their project page, then it'll show you uh, all the things it can do. And so the three core things that it that they advertise this window switching, which is kind of your replacement for Alt-Tab uh, in conventional desktop environments. Then the application launcher, which is uh, at least to any Mac OS user or former Mac OS user something very welcome because it's kind of a replacement for Alfred or if you used it Spotlight. Um, and then finally, you can set up a bunch of SSH connections, but that's just um, what, yeah, of course it does everything the daemon you can, but that's just what they came up with out of their box. And because it implements the dmenu API, because that seems to be an API that quite a lot of other kind of CLI applications support, you can do some neat stuff with it. So for example, um, if you know the pass, password manager, I'm not sure if I'm going to find it very quickly here. Oh, yeah, okay. So what PASS does, it's actually kind of neat, um, is it stores all of your passwords GPG uh, encrypted. So it uses the GNU um, PGP libraries. I never got these two correct, so it's either. Well, it's, it's encrypted with your private key, and um, but it's all file-based, and I actually have it versioned in a Git repository, and I might even have it in a remote Git server. But because it's encrypted, it's not a big deal. Technically, you could have it public out uh, online, and so um, that's very neat. And what this comes with is this thing called Pass Menu, which is the ability to use or to access your uh, your passwords through dmenu. And because Rofi is the same as dmenu, this is what happens. Um, and so you can quickly search for passwords like this and then just copy and paste them into the website that you use. The benefit of this is you don't need to have a um, an extension installed in your browser. If you're security aware, then you might not want to have an extension of your password manager in the browser while you visit a bunch of websites. Uh, and even LastPass, which is one of the really big password manager service providers, they had a significant um, bug a while back because some security researcher at Google uh, came up with some hack in the shower. There was this this story. So this way, it's you know it's a separate thing. It's not in your browser. And um, if you then bind that, so for example, I have it bound to um, to Shift Mod and P. So that would be that combination. And then you have um, your password manager. I also have Alt Space to uh, bound to the menu extended. And so um, that's pretty much this one. And what it does is it uses your locate library. So if you, you know, if you type locate bachelor, right, that would be my, my results. And it basically does the same, but it has this nice global interface. And of course, also the classic Rofi, which is just this one. I set it up to have a combi interface. So I have, um, I can navigate it with my, with my Vim keys, 
but I have to hold um, control down, which is mapped to caps lock for me. But you also, uh, so you can you can change windows with this, and that's kind of kind of helpful if you forget all the windows that you have opened, because you know you have all the different spaces in your in your i3, and you don't want to look through them and find the right window, and that's kind of annoying. So you just go like like so, um, and you say, okay, it's a Firefox window, and I want to have this one, and then you get to the Firefox window that you're looking for. It also uh, opens any application, so I can quickly open, uh, for example, my my GUI for XRander. So I have two displays connected right now, and so I have a. Sometimes I want to move it around if my monitor is actually here, and that's just easier to do. So for that, you can also use. Um, Rolfi, so that's the the D run. Let me just quickly show you the configuration. So when you see here, I have Combi, and let me actually um, turn off this screen key. Here you go. So now it doesn't pop up all the time. So I have this Combi mode, which really just is. Uh, the two modes window and DRUN. And so you can add arbitrary uh, commands like so. Oh yeah, I have, I have another one. I have Tyler, which I think the way it works is just let me check I don't know why it doesn't work if I call it from the CLI, but if I, so I have, and maybe I <laughs> turn this on again. So I have caps lock, my modify key and four, and that allows me to quickly create screenshots and also screencasts, although I actually don't use that. I have to see if that's good. Mm. And the applications can also so it's not only a select and then fire back to the application, but you actually can build an entire user interface um, with with Rolfi as an application developer. So, for example, this D menu extended has the ability to also do internet searches. So I can say, okay, I want to use DuckDuckGo and I want to look for football. No, actually, I don't care about football. Um, YouTube Pascal. Brockmire. Let's see if I'm actually findable. findable. So, n no, that's not me, but you do find my unsplash. Okay, that's nice. So, yeah, that's um, Rolfi. I, I can definitely recommend it. It's nice because you can, you can style it very neatly. Um, and so you have, I think this is SAS styling. I'm not sure I I always mix, mix, mix those two up less than CSS, but it's pretty CSS-ish, and so you can quickly change um, change things here. For example, if you do this, and the entire color is changed, that of course ruins the entire style. So I'm going to not do that. But you can also, for example. Do this, and then the whole box gets a lot smaller. Um, or, yeah, I mean, this doesn't actually have to be looking like this at all. I think they have a theme selector, yeah. And so you can just, oops, did I mess up my style just now? Okay. Okay, so you can look at a bunch of styles and um so they have a variety of them and I think they're not usually all full screen. I don't know why um 
now there I think it's because I actually had to I had to hack this a little bit so yeah just quit now if you want to not if you don't want to see Rofi as a full screen quit now and you'll be happy I'll quickly show you how I how I turned it into full screen um, so that would be actually in the configuration there was some some change that I made and I'm gonna have to find this because I forgot I'm going to pause this and quickly get a solution. Yeah, so sometimes you're really blind, uh, or I'm really blind. It's this top line here, full screen, very simple. You remove it, and you get this centered window. And now we have this giant padding at the sides. Um, but so it's the combination of the full screen and my my theme with the large padding that turns into this um, this look. So if you remove the full screen and then you do Rofi theme select, now you can if you save your or if I save my Rofi country, then you can look at all the different styles. And so this is how there's a bunch of community styles out there. Um, and you can pick one or you can take one and then adapt it. I think they have a nice sidebar here. So this one's also kind of neat. Uh, then they're solarized if you have your entire um, system styled as solarized, then that would be an alternative. I'm still fighting with this one. I'm, I'm very tempted by this, this sidebar styling, but for now I'll um, not Take the temptation. So yeah, uh, that's Rofi. That's pass menu. That's D menu extended. That's Tyler. There's and I I think I just scratched the surface, but it's this very nice global interface that is super lightweight, highly customizable. And you can create your quick applications or your quick small little helpers. Um, and you can select them. You can kind of make them filterable. You could, um, so what I have, I have Rofi just with running these, um, these desktop applications, but you can also set it to, to run anything. And so in that moment, any of your, any of your um, CLI applications that are in your path, all of a sudden show up here. So that's really cool. Yeah, that's Rofi. Enjoy.